Hello and welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Are you guys really enjoyed my last episode on this? Like, usually my videos don't get that many views that quickly. And I believe I'm probably wrong. But YouTube says uh, that was the what? The weather? The lighting just changed. That I that was the most views I've gotten within 24 hours. Now this video is going to be different. I am not going to be continuing this in the normal way. I'm going to be using the worst boat in the game, which is the Borg. Borg, I'm not sure how to say it. Which is the boat you started with back in Fishing Barren Sea, which I'm not sure if I have that. Oh, no, but I can buy it. It's only $10,000. If you want to see more Fishing Barren Sea, let me know by hitting that like button, subscribe if you happen to be new to my channel, and changing notifications thanks to all the always know when I upload. Uh, I'll buy this now, like I said, it's only $10,000, so. Oh yeah, it also has no room for crew, so. Thank, congratulations on buying your first longline vessel. Uh, no, because since this was the first boat in Fishing Barren Sea, I wonder how many times I'm gonna mix up Baron Sea North Atlantic. It could only do long lines, so I'm kind of familiar with it. I'm expecting the, the mechanics to be the same, if not extremely similar. I think I could probably easy kit, easily kit this game, kit this boat out by storage and obviously engine only twelve thousand for an engine. Upgrade oh, this more th more than the boat. This is the same price as the boat, so check out. That's gonna take up a lot of my money. But now I need some gear. And the thing I found out while playing earlier is that not this. The better hook you get, the bigger the fish. Like a bronze and mahogany, mahogany is eight percent larger fish, which obviously larger fish equals more money. Uh, I'll go with... No, I'm gonna go with aluminum. Sorry any British people that say aluminum, you're just wrong. I think I'll go with aluminum since it's only $15,000. And this boat, um... Where is the... Where is the fishing gear? You can only have four long lines. Which, you can see the 250 hook lines, which is 250. No, 25 meters or a 50 meter long one. But you could have two of these set out. You could have two of these and be one of these. I'll go with... Hmm. I'll just get two of each. So, it'd probably help if I actually bought them. So two... It's just easier if I click twice. So I have max aligned on this boat. Now I need to bait them. Hmm, what would be the best fish to go after. Probably, uh, I know redfish was usually pretty good to go after along with cod, but I don't think cod is in season, so, uh, probably redfish. Pollock is 220 a pound. Pollock is like this orange. It's, looks pretty similar to cod, but just like lighter color, I guess. So, Pollock would be be the greenish one like so shrimp get to no yeah, shrimp I almost got the wrong bait which would not have been good now I need to find where there is some pollock so well, now I need to get some fishing some knowledge pollock from a week ago sure and it's still super dark and since I am the only person on the boat, I don't have to split my money with anyone. It's kind of going to be a weird sense. That's what most of Barrent Sea was. You would start with this boat. I should probably turn on some more lights so I can actually see a little bit. Uh, I don't miss this boat. It's like the slowest boat, the force controls, that type of thing. Now, I'm pretty sure this was like one of only a few. I think this is the only boat that you could get without actually with no room for crew members. But there are other boats that didn't need them to work. So Tuna is down here, which I'm 
still need Pollock, which is way down there. And I hope I have enough fuel for that. Which I don't know. If you want, I can what I can play Baron C after this. Or I can make Baron C videos along with this. Along with North Atlantic since there are similar games, obviously. They're made by the same developers. You start with a crappy boat that you inherit from some relative. I think in Baron C it was your uncle. No, not uncle, grandpa. But in this one, it's your uncle. And this distance, we're going like this 10 miles, is a little bit smaller than the map of Baron C, which I think from top to bottom was like 15 to 18 miles, which obviously isn't that big compared to this map, which is like 200 by 300 kilometers. I'm, I probably saw that in my last video. But this has a much larger map, more fishing species, more fish species. How much fuel do I have? Not a lot. <laughs> now I have to get going a little bit for my radar to actually do anything. And since I don't, ooh, that's kind of a cool shot. Now I'll turn off my HUD in case anyone would like a screenshot. Anyway. Now you can turn off, what? You can turn off the HUD by... Hitting H. Now, I'm not exactly at the location. I'm a bit of ways away. I always do that. I don't know why. This boat is so slow, even with the max engine. So you can't really go anywhere. And it's, and it's super slow. And the more engine upgrades you have, the more fuel it costs. We're maxing at about uh, 13 miles an hour. Which is this many in kilometers an hour. I'm not seeing any fish on the sonar. And I realized that this is not pronounced uh, Yarmouth like I was saying, it's Yarmouth. I don't know why I was saying Yarmouth. That's. I don't know why. Okay, I'm not seeing any fish on the radar, but I'll go. Well, sonar. Well, I think I take the same thing. Let's go forward a bit. I am not finding any fish. Pardon me just wants to throw out lines just randomly. Oh, this is like so nostalgic to be on this boat again. Sure. How do I where's the prepare thing? Prepare. Can I just prepare all of these? Uh what's the button? J. Yep, it just sets a buoy out. And then we're already done, so prepare this one. Go back to full speed because. Duh. I mean, since it's already prepared, I, I don't feel like going back out. Now, if there's any of the fish that this bait works on nearby, that's gonna be great. Oop. Set this bait out. Now I need to travel 55 yards. I also like how the game will automatically speed you up or slow you down so you don't destroy the thing. And I kind of wish it didn't, so if like you were going insanely fast, it would. Let go of my fourth one. This is probably, if I catch any fish, I'm probably going to go over the max weight. Because it can only carry about 13,000 pounds. And also, I noticed this, like the other day when I was got the screenshot that I used for the thumbnail. But they updated the water graphics a tiny bit. I mean, the graphics for this game are really good. Don't get me wrong. But the fact that you improved them somewhat, not like a ton, but like a decent amount, is, you know, really pretty impressive. Why can't I let this line go? Excuse me. Oh, there we go. Well, that was a little glitchy. Now we have to. Fast travel all the way back around here to find out if there's any fish in the area, which I highly doubt. Okay, I'm not at the optimal time for these, which I don't think really matters. Oh, this boat is so, and it's not like it's hard to control, but it's just annoying to control more than anything. And the only type of fishing you can do in this boat is long line. In a sense, you can't have a crew member, which I guess you could probably fit one, like, out here all times like they throw a net or something oh, I'm about to hit the thing uh, haul it 
I actually got fish. Look at that. <laughs> One of 11. I believe the max in Baron C was 15. So this isn't a full line according to that game's standards. No, I don't know if the apply that still applies in this game. I would imagine it's in the same range as that. And there's this also a really funny bug in apparency where if you had COD on your line, they would just be spinning. I don't know why. And I want to see if I somehow caught COD. And if the same bug applies here. I don't see any COD. Well, I don't see any spinning fish, so that's my measurement of COD. Like, I would just bait my lines with COD, like five, like a 1,000 meter line, not 1,000 meter, 1,000 hook line, eh, 1,400 pounds, not terrible. Now, I wonder if I can have enough time to pass for these to turn to blue, which is the best time to get them. The way it goes when you first release them is red, followed by yellow, then green like they are now, then blue for like three or so in-game hours, then back to green yellowish orange red then if you don't pick them up in like three days you slim now this is me with a two or oh, five my secondary ability isn't on the starboard side of the boat uh oh uh oh Ooh, pretty hold on hold on hold on wrong button this is a fairly similar shot to when i got my thumbnail like i had to be sun rise i can't remember i think it was sun static now if i could catch th these fish oh come on come on come on come on come on yes how many are on this one 15. and the better you hit the fish the more they weigh so that it's more incentivizing to hit, get perfects obviously and in Baron C, if you miss them, you would, your streak would reset. Okay, wouldn't affect it. A good would increase it by, I think, 3%, then perfects would be 5. Which, I don't know why I still know that information. Ah, uh, when I haven't played that game in a while. Wait, it's spinning. Is this COD? Is this COD? No, I think that was a silver hake. From the appearance. Uh, I'm... Some of the fish is, the names of the fish is uh pretty unoriginal like the redfish in my boat thing storage is literally called a red fish with just that one line i pretty much filled up my boat and if i go to storage the most caught fish is pollock like there's some games that are absolutely pretty like this one is obviously one of them Sea of Thieves is high up there. I basically say this every time I play this with my friends. They should just have renamed it to Screenshot Simulator. Because honestly, the graphics are that good. And I don't think they're really that demanding for the game. Only 13 on this line, which this is a little decent amount of fish. Imagine if I had to catch every single fish on this. I believe there were like 10,000 hook lines, which were a kilometer long. Which, imagine if you had to catch all 10,000 fish. You would probably get so bored of just stabbing fish over and over again. That was perfect. I'm not complaining. Come on, come on. Another perfect. Ah, oh, it's good. I was like a few milliseconds off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Where's the mini game? Ah, I... Come on, game. Just give me a few. There we go. And I believe I should probably attempt to go to a different port since different ports have different boats for sale and oh, that was an okay. And different prices. And I like the reputation mechanic is that it essentially is as you can tell, the better the more you interact with the town, the better the town treats you. So they'll give you better fish prices, like the price will still be the same, but the I am literally a thousand pounds, not even that, like, what? 200 pounds off? I am so slow. The acceleration is terrible. I at least fast travel a tiny bit. Ah, took that game. The more you work with the town, the more money they'll give you for 
They're selling fish, completing ma uh, missions, and the way to get more reputation is to interact with the town. So completing missions, uh, paying back loans. Oh yeah, you can get much bigger loans. I kind of broke the game because on the PS4 and Baron C, I have like a hundred million dollars. Well, kroners, but since the game is set in Norway, I believe. Which is their currency, which I think 100 million kroners is about 10 million American. Somewhere around there. The loans would be so ridiculously high, like 200 million kroner. Like several million kroner. Which obviously I didn't need. I had the Hermes maxed out. I have an insane crew. Three gutters that are machine gutters that are maxed of uh, four. And Three, two people that are freezing stuff. No, it's two people that are freezing the fish at max and then stacking at max. And I lose like 10% of my earnings to them. And I make, and that's a, with the full boat, which is like several hundred thousand kroners. Just saying, it's probably not the best idea to use the Borg. Or Borg. I don't know how to use it, how to pronounce it, I mean. Uh, I guess uh, this port here would be the closest. Because there's a port here, here, that's Yarmouth, obviously. One way up here, up here, and over here. So I'll just set a waypoint. A course. Fast travel course, that's the word I'm looking for. Do this port. And I just realized I... Hope I have enough fuel, which I am about 11 miles away from. Which, what's my fuel at? I'll probably make it. Well, fast traveling uses more fuel and adds more time to the amount of time that passes than it wouldn't be to actually travel here. Like, obviously it would take me a long time in real life to travel here from where I was and back. Uh oh. I'm at 25%. Uh, uh, I can make it. I am like five miles away. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I think just to be safe, I'll just actually drive all the way back myself. So, cue the transition or montage, whatever I feel like doing in editing at this at a later time. <sighs> I decided to fast travel after because I got so bored. Obviously, since I, oh, I am moving so slow. <laughs> Obviously, since I haven't worked with this port yet, I am probably not going to receive the best prices on fish. But now, since I have another port, I'm going to hit the side of the dock. Since I have access to another dock, I can just fast travel here immediately instead of doing the normal thing. Okay, and I'm within the dock range of fish on board. Do we like to sell fish? How much? How much? How much? $27,000. Which is not a lot. I'm guessing that this amount of... If I had a full boat of swordfish and or tuna, I'd probably be close to making 100 k and these are all average prices. Pollux price is actually higher. So saw this catch would get me at $49,000. Which doesn't even pay for all the, up, for the boat nor the upgrades. Well, it, pro it paid off for the boat, but not all of the upgrades. So what I think I'll do is go to the shipyard available. Go, make, go back to my trusty Mickey. Activate it and sell the Borg. Around $8,000 for all of the upgrades I put into it. Buy and sell. Now, I know I think I said I would go for the Lenore in the last episode. But the Ocean Runner. It's the only boat apparently available at this port. This one is can be for a big line. Net and it can also be for deep line and lobster so I don't like how it says crab pot type than lobster or max crab pot it's when it's talking about lobster fishing the nets I can have max of 40 131 yards which is a hundred and 25 meters I want to say max of 40 long lines and 5,000 hook lines so 500 meters so that's a decent 
length. Ha ha ha, I know, that's what she said. Uh, I think I'll go for the Lenore since it's like 200, it's $400,000 cheaper if I remember correctly. And it can do pretty much the same stuff, but scaled down to an extent. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video of fishing North Atlantic at any time, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you happen to be new to my channel, comment down below if you want to see more videos like this where I do a specific thing, like say using the best boat in the game. If you want to see that, either hit the like button or leave a comment down below telling me that, and change notification settings to all so you always know when I upload, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.